would describe it differently. What, what, what have you done now? Well, I mean, I did an interview on LBC, I mean, and just repeated a little historical fact that when Hitler won the election in 1932 in Germany, he didn't win a majority, it was the largest party. One of his policies was to send all Germany's Jews to Israel. I, and I mean, people seem to have been really shocked to discover this. I mean, we don't do history anymore, do we? Well, Ken, you know that the motivation for that policy was stone-cold anti-Semitism, so... Oh, yes, it was. Absolutely. So, so, so to, cite it in, to cite it in defence of Nas Shah is a little strange. No, I just, I'm just being asked questions, I answer them. I, Nas Shah is not anti-Semitic. She's a deep critic of Israel. She went right over the top in what she said. She's apologised for that. And I'm sure when the NEC investigation is completed, it will report that, no, she isn't anti-Semitic. She was just, you know, rude. But then who am I to complain about other people being rude? Well, I, I suppose that's a fair comment. Um, you also said that you've never heard anybody say anything anti-Semitic. Well, I mean, that's... Oh, no, no. In no, the Labour movement. Labor part, yes, yeah. In the Labour Party. Yes, in the Labour Party. No, no one ever. I mean, basically, if you're a bigot, you're not going to join the Labour Party. It's all filled with people like me, you know, advocating anti-racism and feminism. Why then is... Where do you think this perception comes from, that this, this blanket opposition to bigotry that you describe, and, and which you, I think, reasonably claim to champion in most areas, racism, yeah. wh wh why does it become so confused when we turn to the issue of, of Israel in particular and, and Jewishness? Well, I think there's a real problem that, I mean, if I say to you now that I think the South African government is riddled with corruption, you're not going to say I'm saying that because I'm a racist. I think mean, we've got to separate. People who are anti-Semitic hate Jews. And not just the Jews in Israel, they hate their Jewish neighbour in Golders Green or South Newington. Um, and that's a completely different situation than people who are critical of the Israeli government. You put it like that. It's worries. you put it like that. It's, it, it's straightforward. So wh where does all this complication come from? I I think that just we've had for years and years. Anyone who criticises the government of Israel is just denounced as anti-Semitic. My worry about that is that it sort of undermines the importance of tackling real anti-Semitism because people are going to think, no, it's all just about you know people criticising Israel. Where there there are real problems of anti-Semitism, anti-Semitic attacks. Anti-Semitic, uh, and and you know, and it's probably on, fair to observe yes that that sort of anti-Semitism is probably more prevalent in uh, or, 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 or with a background like Nas Shah's, you are more likely to encounter that sort of anti-Semitism, real anti-Semitism, than you are in the in the in the saloons of Westminster or the or the you know the the, the talking shops of the Labour Party. Oh, yeah, you won't. Anyway, and literally, I'm not lying. I mean, I've never heard anyone in the Labour Party say something anti-Semitic. Endless criticism of the government of Israel. You must, you must have heard them say that the Jews run the world or the Jews. I mean, I get emails like that alleging that this company is part of a yeah. Jewish conspiracy. You must have heard stuff like that. I've heard that, but not from anyone in the Labour Party. You hear that from people who are... You hear that from people... You hear that from people... Oh, I've got a violent MP threatening me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Well, hang on a minute. Bye -bye. C -c carry Bye -bye. on, Ken. Are you all right, Ken? Well, you, I, I'm going to stay with this just to make sure Ken's all right, if that's all right with you guys. Ken, are you still there? I, I'm still here. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. There's just some, some MPs a bit over the top. What, in their criticism of you? We <laughs> Ken Livingston here under some yeah, sort of... Well, there's a little problem here, another one of these Labour MPs who's going over the top. Who, who, who is it? Who is it? Who are you with? Ken Livingston under some form of verbal, some form of verbal yeah. attack from people he's just described as other Labour MPs. I'm afraid my journalistic instincts aren't going to let me hang up the phone. I think, I think we may have lost that choice. Well, there you go. So, uh, it sounded as if he was coming under fire. Sadiq Khan has called for a suspension. The words are pretty powerful. He, he issued them on LBC about uh, Hitler's original policy in 1936. No denial from him that that original policy was uh, deeply anti-Semitic. Therefore, perhaps a... Um, a, a that, that's, you know, Britain in 2016, a man standing in the street in his 70s, apparently being verbally attacked by...
Labour members of Parliament, so keen are they to prove their e e equality, e equality credentials? Strange times we're living in. 11.42 is the time, and the question you need to answer now is, is where the line is.